Picture this. You're a millennial, and an unexpected expense just hit. Could you cover it without going into debt? Now let's bring some cold, hard facts into the picture. It's a stark reality that a large portion of millennials are walking a financial tightrope with no safety net beneath them. According to a recent survey, an alarming three out of every four millennials wouldn't be able to cover an unexpected expense of $1,000 without resorting to debt. Yes, you heard that right. 75% of millennials are a single unexpected expense away from financial crisis. Why is this happening, you ask? There are a host of reasons, from the burden of student loans to the rising costs of living, that make saving a daunting task for this generation. The lack of financial cushion not only leads to stress and anxiety, but also poses a serious threat to their financial stability. Without an emergency fund, millennials are left vulnerable to the whims of life's unpredictability. A sudden job loss, a medical emergency, or even a major car repair can quickly spiral into a debt trap. And we all know, once you're caught in the web of debt, it becomes a vicious cycle that's hard to break free from. It's like trying to swim upstream. Every time you think you're making progress, a new bill arrives, and you're swept back again. This is the grim reality for those without an emergency fund. But it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is that it's never too late to start building your financial safety net. It might seem like a daunting task, especially when you're living paycheck to paycheck, but with the right strategies and a bit of discipline, it's entirely possible. Frightening, isn't it? But don't worry, we're here to help you navigate these financial waters. So stay tuned as we dive deep into the world of emergency funds, discussing why they are vital, how to build one, and sharing some success stories that prove you can do it too. Because remember, your financial future is in your hands. It's no secret that millennials face a unique set of financial challenges. This generation, born between the early 80s and mid-90s, has been hit hard by several economic hurdles that their predecessors didn't experience to the same extent. One of the most common financial burdens for millennials is the high cost of education. The average millennial is grappling with student loan debt that's significantly higher than what their parents or grandparents had to manage. This debt can be a significant drain on their monthly income, leaving them with less to put aside for emergencies. In addition to this, job instability is another major obstacle. The modern job market is volatile. Full-time, permanent positions are less common than they used to be. Many millennials find themselves in temporary or contract positions, which often don't come with the same financial security as traditional roles. This uncertainty can make it difficult to plan for the future and save for unexpected expenses. The high cost of living, especially in major cities, is another challenge. Millennials often find themselves spending a significant portion of their income on rent or mortgage payments, utilities, and other living expenses. This can leave little room in the budget for savings. However, it's not just about the big ticket items. Everyday expenses like groceries, transportation, and healthcare can also add up, making it even more challenging to save. Not to mention the societal pressure to keep up with the latest technology or to maintain a certain lifestyle, which can lead to unnecessary spending. These challenges may be tough, but they're not insurmountable. With the right strategies, you can start building an emergency fund. It may not be easy, but it's definitely worth it. An emergency fund is not just a safety net, it's a stepping stone towards financial independence. So buckle up because in the next scene, we're going to dive into the importance of an emergency fund and how you can start building one. So why all the fuss about an emergency fund? If you've been asking yourself this question, you're not alone. But let, let me tell you, an emergency fund is more than just a buzzword. It's a financial lifeline that can save you from sinking into debt when life throws unexpected curveballs your way. Let's break it down. An emergency fund is a stash of money set aside to cover the financial surprises life throws your way. These surprises can come in any form, a car breakdown, unexpected medical bills, or sudden job loss. Without an emergency fund, these unexpected events can become financial nightmares. Now imagine this scenario. You lose your job unexpectedly. With an emergency fund, you have the cushion to pay your bills and meet your daily needs until you secure another job. Without it, you might have to rely on credit cards or loans, which only adds to your financial burden. But the importance of an emergency fund extends beyond just providing financial security. It also offers peace of mind. Knowing you have a safety net can reduce stress and anxiety around money. It gives you the confidence to make financial decisions without fear of unforeseen circumstances. What's more, 
having an emergency fund can prevent you from dipping into your long-term savings or retirement fund. This is crucial because tapping into these funds can derail your long-term financial goals. Now you might be thinking, I barely make ends meet, how can I save for an emergency fund? Well, that's a valid concern and we'll tackle that in the next scene. But remember, an emergency fund is not built overnight. It's about starting small and building up gradually. Even a small emergency fund can make a significant difference when you face unexpected expenses. In a nutshell, an emergency fund isn't just a nice to have. It's a must have for financial stability and peace of mind. It's your financial safety net, your buffer against life's unexpected financial shocks. So isn't it time you started building yours? Feeling motivated to start saving? Great. Now let's talk about how to do it. First and foremost, you need to set a clear goal. How much do you want to save in your emergency fund? A good rule of thumb is to aim for three to six months worth of living expenses. This might seem like a daunting amount, but remember, you don't have to reach it overnight. It's a goal you'll work towards gradually. Once you have your goal, it's time to create a budget. A budget is your financial roadmap. It helps you see where your money is going and where you can make adjustments. Track your income and expenses for a month or two to get an accurate picture of your spending habits. From there, you can identify areas to cut back and allocate more towards your emergency fund. But what if you're already living on a tight budget and can't find any areas to cut back? This is where you need to get creative. Think about ways to increase your income. This could be anything from picking up a part-time job, selling unused items, or even starting a small side business. Another strategy is to make saving automatic. Set up a direct deposit from your paycheck to your emergency fund. This way, you're saving without even thinking about it. And don't forget to take advantage of any windfalls you might receive, like tax returns or work bonuses. Instead of splurging on a new gadget or a vacation, put that money into your emergency fund. And lastly, remember to be patient. Building an emergency fund takes time. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. But with every dollar you save, you're taking a step towards financial security. In the end, the peace of mind that comes with knowing you're prepared for financial emergencies is priceless. It's worth every sacrifice, every penny saved, and every minute spent budgeting. Remember, every penny counts. No amount is too small to start building your emergency fund. Still need a little inspiration? Let's take a look at some success stories. Take Jacob, for instance. A young professional working in the tech industry, he found himself suddenly out of a job due to company-wide layoffs. While others panicked, Jacob had a safety net, his emergency fund, he had been diligently setting aside a portion of his paycheck for years, building up his savings. This allowed him to take his time finding a new job that was a good fit for him, rather than jumping at the first opportunity out of desperation. Or consider Maya, a freelance graphic designer. When her laptop crashed unexpectedly, her livelihood was at stake. But thanks to her emergency fund, she didn't miss a beat. She was able to purchase a new laptop immediately, keeping her business running smoothly. And then there's Alex. When he experienced a sudden health issue, he was hit with medical bills that would have been crippling without his emergency fund. Because he had savings to fall back on, he could focus on his recovery, not his finances. These stories highlight the peace of mind and financial stability that an emergency fund can provide. It's not just about the money, it's about the freedom to make choices, the ability to weather life storms, and the comfort of knowing you're prepared for the unexpected. Now it's your turn. Start building your emergency fund today and secure your financial future. It's not always easy, but every dollar you save is a step towards financial independence. You don't have to do it alone. We're here to help with practical tips and strategies to help you reach your savings goals. And we'd love to hear from you. Share your own tips for saving money in the comments. Let's learn from each other and grow together. Don't forget to check out our other videos on financial planning. They're packed with advice and insights to help you navigate your financial journey. Remember, Building an emergency fund is just the first step. There's a whole world of financial possibilities waiting for you. Now it's your turn. Start building your emergency fund today and secure your financial future. Share your own tips for saving money in the comments and don't forget to check out our other videos on financial planning. As we wrap up today's video, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. An emergency fund is more than just a financial safety net. It's a tool for empowerment, a path to freedom, and a key to unlocking your financial potential. But remember, this is just the beginning. Building an emergency fund is only the first step in your journey to financial independence. There are many more strategies to explore and tools to leverage. So, 
Where do you go from here? Keep learning, keep saving, and keep striving for your financial goals. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. We're here to offer guidance, support, and practical advice to help you navigate the complex world of personal finance. So keep the conversation going. Share your own tips and success stories in the comments. Your insights could be the inspiration someone else needs to start their own financial journey. Let's continue to learn from each other and grow together. Thank you for being a part of our community and for taking the time to invest in your financial future. Your efforts today will pave the way for a better tomorrow. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more financial tips and insights. And if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content and empower people to take control of their finances. Thank you for watching and remember, your financial future is in your hands. So start building your emergency fund today. You've got this.